Hi guys, on behalf of Neutronics, welcome to another video of our tutorial series. Today, we're going to show you how to build your own cloud network. Now, I know what you're thinking, building your own cloud network? That's crazy, but to understand how we can build this, we have to understand what the cloud literally is. So a quick Google search tells me, cloud NAS, or cloud network attached storage, is remote storage that is accessed over the internet as if it was local. The storage is usually hosted by a third party service provider who charges the customer a fee based on capacity and bandwidth. But enough of definitions, let's actually look at a few providers who offer and sometimes charge for such services. So if we look at this cool graphic right here, we see a few cloud storage providers. Uh, and personally, I've actually used quite a few of them. I personally have used Dropbox, Google Drive, and iCloud. Through my school, I actually am provided about 5 to 10 gigabytes of storage on Google Drive. But what if I wanted more? You'd have to pay a service fee every month for extra storage, and that's perfectly reasonable. But what if I told you, you can build your own? You can build your own personal and local cloud network with a few materials and a few steps. And Neutronics will show you how. So let's begin. So here's what we'll need. So the main component of our project is just a regular home router. I'm personally using a Netgear N600, which is actually a dual band router that offers speeds up to 300 megabits per second. And I can go into much more about what dual band actually means, but honestly, for this project, the main component is something else. The router has to have just one thing, a USB connection. Not literally one thing, obviously that, but the main component is a USB port. So with the USB port comes a USB flash drive. We're personally using a simple 8GB flash drive, but that's only to show you guys for simplicity's sake. If you wanted to, you can even go up to a one terabyte flash drive or even hook up a portable drive of your choosing. And the benefit is, you don't have to pay Dropbox or Google Drive for the more storage you need. All you have to do is just plug it in. And the benefit is, it's all up to you and once you're done with this project, any device connected to your home router can have access to the storage. It's your own local cloud network. And by any device, I also mean the Raspberry Pi 3. You can connect any device to our local cloud network. So all that's left is actually setting this thing up. So let's go on and show you how to do it. Hi guys, so I'm in front of my computer right now, and at this point I want you guys to have connected your router. And I want you guys to power it up, connect the flash drive into it, and once you do that, I want you to connect to it from your home computer. And me personally, I just wired it into it, and um, once you did that, you just simply have to find out your router's IP address. Every router has a different IP address, but I think my one's a pretty default one. My personal IP address to access my router is 192.168.1.1. And as you can see, I connected into it. And you should see uh, an application page. Every router has a different application page, but this is the Linksys one. And as you can see, it's a Linksys one. And yes, I did lie to you guys. <laughs> I'm not using a Necker one now. But I came home, and rather than disconnecting everything, I just wanted to use my home router. For, for simplicity's sake, I'm using my own pro home router. But even if you're using Netgear or any other router, it should be very similar. So I did blur out a few of my uh, privacy stuff here, just for security reasons. but. Once you're on this home page, I want you to look for something that sounds like, or looks like, or says, external storage. And once I connect into that, you can see connect an external storage device to your network and configure how users can access its contents. And right here it says add an external storage device. So I want you guys to make sure you connected your flash drive or your portable hard drive into it. And once you did that, I simply, you simply have to click refresh. And let's hope it works um is it doing something i think it is doing something oh there you go what wait wait guys let me just unplug it and plug it back in in true it slash engineer fashion okay i'm back guys i, did, I just really had to plug it in plug it back in again but i uh, hit refresh and it's waiting it's working and you can see your external storage volume right here and i call the database you can call anything you want to and you can see I plugged in the 8GB flash drive and right here is about 7.6GB of free space to use. And that's almost we're almost done with it guys. So all you have to do is connect your storage device and just refresh it real quick. And the main thing I want to show you guys is this thing right here. We have to look at this. Your PC access, your file explorer. And this is uh, forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.1. And this is very important guys. So let's go into your file explorer and go into network. Uh, right click this right here and click map network drive and this is when it's important so if you look at this let's go forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.1 and what's the name of our storage volume forward slash again and type in database once we do that we click finish and bam we're connected into it and yes, we are literally connected to a flash drive that's not connected to our computer. 
and this concept of having remote storage has been used very frequently before. At work, I can share files between coworkers because we have a shared network drive, and that is the same concept going on here. And with this concept and technology, we can build our own home local cloud network. If we map it correctly, we can connect any device to this remote storage, whether it's the Raspberry Pi or another computer. But now you might be wondering, uh, yes, I built my own local cloud network, but what if I'm at work? What if I'm at school? What if I'm outside? How do I access my files? That's what Google Drive is for. That's what Dropbox is for, on-the-go cloud storage. And that's a great question, but guess what? Here in Neutronics, we'll show you how. We'll show you how to connect to your cloud network from anywhere, wherever you go. So we'll have two videos coming for you soon. One video being how to map the network drive onto the Raspberry Pi 3, and the next video will be how to connect to this cloud network when you're not at home and when you're working remotely when you're on the go, and truly really build your own personal cloud network. So that's all for this video, guys. Please be on the lookout for more videos coming very soon. Also, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video, as well as follow us on Facebook and Twitter, as well as visit us on Neutronics.com. Yes, guys, we're slowly building up our media presence, but the goal is to always push out good content, so your feedback is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for your support, and as always, stay tuned.